Hey everyone, my name is Mike McGowan. People like to get our championship belt plates off the internet as a project to make their own championship belt. But how would you go about making the strap board? I've never had a true 100% way of telling people how to do that, so I figured I'd make a video to show a lot of the options that are available when you purchase our championship belt. We have many, many options when it comes to making a strap. You can choose leather. One of the things that I do offer, uh, if you do buy a full plate, is whole grain cow leather. This is nine to 10 ounces. I got just enough here to actually make a full belt. Round up. Some inches, and you want about five inches on the end. So, yeah, more than enough space to actually make it all. But I'm not going to get into talking about leather today. Just that it is an option, and leather is more of an art than a science. So, if you really aren't uh, skilled with leather and you're not really sure, this takes a lot of time. This takes a lot of tools and it's easy to make mistakes with leather. Uh, buying leather, purchasing leather, make sure you get the good stuff. This isn't exactly great. It does have some scoring on the back side. That will affect quality. So that's one thing to think about. So I'm not going to talk about leather today. We are going to talk about vinyl. Vinyl is pretty good. Vinyl is pretty cheap. Nice sheet of vinyl like that. You can buy it by the roll if you're going to make a lot, but you probably only need about a yard or two of it, just to be safe. You're going to need at least uh, enough to make two straps for a belt, one front, one back. For a middle, to thicken it up, I like to use this craft thumb. I believe this is four millimeter, two millimeter. I lost a thing, I can't remember. But you can find that at, in rolls at craft stores. And one of the first things that you wanna do whenever you do get your vinyl is make sure that you've got enough for as long as you want it. Which, we got about 50 inches here. So even this scrap piece that I have left over is more than enough. On your scrap piece, you want to find your center, and then you want to be able to find about, on your measurements, both axes to make sure that your plate is lined up on the center. And then what you really want to do is just trace around that. And it's probably best if you don't even start, this should be the first thing to start with, not actually working with the plates, because you won't want to be doing this after you've finished it. You want to do this while you still have some time. I like to set the side plates up at about an inch, inch and a half away, give or take. I'm only going through rough estimates to show you. Remember, always measure twice and mark and cut once. Actually, I already did some marks on here. I want you to see that I did make axis points right there to be able to tell. And after you got that done, at the very least, what you want to do is fold the belt over so you only have to concentrate on making half of it look just as nice. Another reason for the axis, for doing your axes. After that, you can start rough sketching out about how you want the flow and shape of your belt to be. You 
can always go bigger and cut down afterwards. So like this, I would go ahead and if I like the way this is set right now, I would leave it folded, cut across the line, and then fold it out, and then see how I like it as a whole, and then do trimming as needed. After that, you're gonna take your phone, lay that out, and use some spray adhesive on the foam and on the back of your vinyl to lay it down as such. Use a roller, a roller, to roll out any air pockets and to keep it as smooth as possible. You can lay books on it. And after about a few hours, I like to leave mine set overnight, you should be able to really tell exactly what you have. You can double check your measurements to see. That's about where I had it. And that looks pretty good. Once I, as I said, everything you're going to have to double check all your measurements. I'm just running through this to give everyone an idea of how to go about making your own belt. Like I said, the phone gives you a nice bit of extra thickness to it, makes it a little bit more flappy so it's not like a single sheet of vinyl. After this, you can decide whether or not you want to add a backing, and if you want to add the backing after you mount the plate or before you mount the plate. And what I mean by that is, if the plate were there, actually, let me show you. If I want to cover up the screw holes, as every Iron Drake Studios belt comes with uh, screws, all I would do is press down real hard, like that, distributing the weight, and then you'll be able to see all the little places. Then go ahead and use a leather hole punch or other uh, hole punch device and knock out those holes. Like I said, once you've measured up and you're 100% sure that's where you want your holes, go ahead and do that. And then on the back, you'll be able to see that. And if you want to hide the sprues, you'll go ahead and once you have all this cut out, you can go ahead and mount your plates to this. After that, you can put your backing on. And the backing can be whatever you like. You can use another sheet of vinyl. You can use sway. I have, I have this piece here. This is actually garment leather. This is a type of leather that I would actually recommend you buy. This is leather that's actually finished. This is what they make handbags out of and such. Uh, comes in various colors and also comes in various styles such as uh, reptile and amphibian skin and whatnot. So you can get all kinds of different effects. You can use this as a front or you can use it as a back. Uh, a lot of people use this as a back for uh, the thick leather belts. And with this I actually recommend using hot glue. You can see a little bit of where the hot glue from this was. I'm actually going to pull this back. And you can see the grain of the leather as it was. Or you can just use it as a front and a back, or just a backing. But it is really nice. It gives you that real nice uh, leather feel. But it's actually just as floppy as the vinyl. So all it is, is it looks nice. It doesn't get you any extra toughness. It's still just as flimsy. But if these were painted gold on this nice white strap, you know that's going to look really, really sweet. All right, so you did all your measurements. You got your strap all the way you want it. You decide you're going to cover your screws. You got your foam on. You're going to cut all this extra foam off, which I'm not going to do for this video. But 
you can figure out, you know, you want to cut that. Afterwards, you've got your plates on and you put your backing on. Backing, do it the same way. Actually, I would actually recommend if you're going to do uh, I lost my train of thought. If you're going to cover your screws, don't cut this part out yet. Go ahead, leave this all on like this. Lay your backing down on like that. So it actually... Lay it down like that. Why? Because then you... Uh, Use your super spray like that again, and everything will be there. That way, you only have to cut once following the line of your main strap. And then you'll have your strap, your filler, and your backing, when you only have to cut once. After that, you can figure out where you want to put your snaps, and also how you want to finish the edge. If you want to uh, run it through a sewing machine and run uh, a sewing edge or you want to try your hand and do lacing which will be much easier after everything's together and you got all your holes lined up it'll be much easier to do lacing after that which is very involved if you want to do anything like that I do recommend research on the internet but that is really about it uh, that's all it will take to add a backing to these championship belts and once you actually have at least this much done, you know exactly what you want. Now's when you can have the time. You can go and sand the edges on these so they look real nice. And you can give this a really sharp paint job. Or you can do any other finishing, uh, chrome spray painting, chrome dipping, vacuum metalizing. There are all kinds of different finishing options out there. Or if you buy them uh, from me with the brass, finish all shined up. These are going to look really, really slick. Or you can just leave them black. I mean, you know, it's completely up to you. I mean, it is kind of an art in itself, especially for those that like to hang them. Like, that's really nice. So, thank you for watching Iron Drake Studios, how to make your own belt for Iron Drake Studio plates.